listen very carefully to this forecast because there are a lot of things that are going to change and they're going to change rather quickly. First off, we've got a chance of some severe weather as we head into tonight and throughout the day tomorrow and then tomorrow night a very powerful cold front will be moving through the region. So listen carefully and we'll get going. Here's a live look in long view. We're not seeing fog like what we're seeing what we saw yesterday morning, I should say, and, but we do still have some reduced visibilities here and there, but nothing compared to what we saw yesterday. We're not under a dense fog advisory like what we were, but we are seeing reduced visibilities, especially in the lower elevations of deep east Texas. Nacogdoches is at four miles. Luckins at a mile and Athens is at about a mile as well. Jacksonville is at about 10 miles. So visibilities, yeah, they are reduced in some locations, but not as bad as what we saw yesterday, and we'll continue to see that trend throughout the morning. I think the winds are just going to be too strong, and the lack of rain means fog's not going to be a problem. 60s and 70s right now. It is 70 in Center, 67 in Tyler, 69 in Longview. We hit 77 degrees today. Nothing to worry about weather-wise if you have those New Year's Eve outdoor plans through 6 or 7 o'clock. Tonight, however, I want you to look very carefully at Futurecast because we are going to start to see those storms popping up as early as around midnight. We're down to 67. Now, here's what we got. 3 o'clock this afternoon. Still no rain in the area. If we do see any of rain, we're going to see it in deep east Texas, and it's just going to be in the form of drizzle. Now, as we roll into the afternoon hours, that is when we're going to start to see a few bubble up showers and thunderstorms, but the wider spread rain is not arriving until early tomorrow morning. And these storms you see on your screen right here, they could be strong, so I want everybody to remain weather aware throughout the day tomorrow. Here's what happens. The front's going to move through the area by late morning. Most of the storms are done for our central and northern counties, ending for deep east Texas by 5 o'clock. But anytime you see a line like this, that is when you could see those stronger winds along the leading edge of the line. And then here comes the Arctic front. Note the time. This is 5 o'clock tomorrow evening. Now the front's going to move through the area and then it gets much colder by 10 o'clock. We're already in the 30s for Tyler pointing off to the northwest. We are in the 20s to start out 5 o'clock Sunday morning and a new feature that started popping up in the overnight runs is perhaps a little bit of sleet, maybe a rain sleet rain snow mix for our southeastern counties. It's possible that we could see a few flurries, but don't panic. I don't expect this to be an impactful event and you're going to be okay. It's just going to get cold Sunday morning and we're only in the 30s Sunday afternoon with maybe a few 40s. But here's the severe weather outlook for today. Marginal threat again. This is after midnight tonight, so through midnight we should be OK. But after midnight tonight, a marginal threat of severe weather does exist for our northern counties and then the slight risk moves all the way down into the northern Smith, all of Gray County and northern Russ County pointing off to the north and to the east. So that will be your better chance of seeing that severe weather. And again, that's occurring right around the middle part of the day for those areas. Here are the next seven temperatures in the 70s today and tomorrow. We're only at 40 Sunday, 50s expected Monday and Tuesday. It's cold Monday morning as well. We're down to 25. We're down to 32 Monday night into Tuesday and then we're at 66 Wednesday. Another cold front arrives as we go into your Thursday. So Corinne, just to summarize this here uh, today, we're OK. I'm not expecting any storms before midnight tonight. Around midnight, we could see a few storms in the area and then as we go into tomorrow, we'll have another severe threat associated with the front that's going to be moving through. We get cold tomorrow night, maybe a few flurries very early Sunday morning. And then Sunday night again, we are starting out in the middle 20s from Sunday night into Monday morning. Wow. I mean, it's so crazy to me that on Christmas 